Hello students, I am Ms. Angelica Terek, 23 years old, and I live at Del Carmen SD, Balilihan, Bohol. I graduated my college degree at Bohol Island State University, Balilihan Campus. I took a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. I also graduated by qualifying at University of Bohol. I took a Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education, major in Mathematics. So, I will be your subject teacher for this year which I am so very excited in this new educational system, which I am looking forward to a year of learning, fun, and excitement. I want you to know that I have been and will continue doing the absolute best I can to provide you with a meaningful education from afar. So before we start, let's pray first. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Abba Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, I praise you, I thank you, and I worship you. Lord Jesus, I thank you for all the blessings you have given me. I surrender my intellect, my mind, and my memory into your hands. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, send the Holy Spirit upon me. Oh, Holy Spirit, Come into my heart. Come into my mind. Come into my intellect. To enlighten me. So that I may study well. Holy Spirit, my helper. Fill me with your wisdom. Knowledge and understanding. Spirit of Jesus. Give me good memory so that. I might be able to understand and remember. What I am going to study now. O oh Holy Spirit. I need you, come into me. Thank you Father. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Amen. Why are you choosing ICT? ICT, short for Information and Communication Technology. Though there is no universal definition of ICT, but it generally refers to all devices, networking components, applications, and systems that facilitate interaction with the digital world. Sometimes, ICT is used interchangeably with IT or information technology, but ICT is more comprehensive, including more components related to computers and digital technologies. Components include data, internet access, cloud computing, software, hardware, transactions, and communications technology. But more importantly, ICT encompasses the combinations of applications of those components. So, what do you think, class? Has ICT caused us to be less human? So, let's start our... Lesson 1. Plan and prepare for installation. Lesson 1.1 Occupational Health and Safety Policies and Procedures in Installation Preparation Lesson 1.2 Computer Peripherals Lesson 1.3 Network Devices So in this presentation, we will be discussing Occupational Health and Safety Policies and procedures in installation preparation. Objectives At the end of the lesson, students will be able to First, plan and prepare for installation. Next, install equipment devices and systems. And lastly, conduct tests on the installed computer system. 
So before we proceed to our discussion, answer the two enduring questions. Number one, can you identify a computer peripheral or a computer device system that you often see and explain how it works? Number two, what are the factors in the planning and preparation for installation stage that define its success? OHS or Occupational Health and Safety OHS is defined as a work system plan to prevent illness and injury in the workplace. Safety procedures are everyone's responsibility in the computer and technology industries. There are several procedures that you should follow when installing components in your personal computer. So, here are some prerequisites for a healthy workplace. Building and Structure Facilities that house the installation or other activities that do not require special labor protection and safety measures shall comply with the physical requirements as stated in a building code. As best practices, safety precautions must be designed according to standards that pass local and international scrutiny. Installation, Equipment, and Tools It must be suitable for their use and selected to minimize dangers to safety or health when used correctly. In order to eliminate hazards and risk to employees, electrical installations must follow all the essential processes in the choice of proper work items that include tools and furnishings. Signage All resorts and risky areas like emergency exits and installation rooms, materials and equipment and visibly marked in accordance with the international standards. Lighting As much as possible, your workplace must be properly lit or with sufficient artificial illumination. Emergency lights must also be installed and automatically activated during electrical power failure or evacuation processes. First aid First aid kit must be available at all times, especially during the working periods. Kits must easily be located and accessed once an emergency occurs. So now, let's discuss the safety tips in planning and preparing for installation. The working area must be dirt-free and well-ventilated to reduce respiratory hazards. Make sure that you are in a good health and physically fit. Wear comfortable and work-friendly clothes. Remove metal items from the body like jewelry and time pieces. Before you enter the computer lab or touch any part within the computer case, use a wrist strap or anti-static gadget. Provide containers with labels for proper segregation and identification of computer parts and accessories like screws, covers, and mounts to avoid confusion among similar looking items. Place tools and equipment 
in order in their proper storage containers. Avoid eating and drinking near the system components. Make sure that all cables such as cord, network cables, and those that connect to peripherals and whatever is plugged in are connected and removed. Push and keep the power button pressed for 5 seconds. After all the cables are removed, to drain residual electricity from the computer. Firmly hold cables or wires at the base or head when disconnecting them in order to keep them from breaking. If a component is difficult to remove, make sure that you are doing it correctly and no wires or parts are in the way. Never attempt to remove the power source when all cables are still connected. Be careful not to drop any small parts inside the computer case. Do not blow on dust to remove it. Your breath has moisture which can cause corrosion in computer components. For your assignment, research some reported incidents regarding preparation and installation of computer systems and networks. And reflect your understanding on the videos and identify the technical factors of malfunction in the situation. For some clarification, you can contact me directly through Messenger at Angelica Perek or you can reach me also in my Gmail account, TerekAngelica24 at gmail.com. If you have internet access at home, you can also join my class based on your grade level and section. Create an email address and download Edmodo application on your phone or open Edmodo.com in your browser. Thank you students and I hope that you learned something in our discussion for today. See you in the next meeting and before we say goodbye, let's pray first.